We have a really good workout today. It's going to focus all on your core, tightening this whole area up and giving you a nice round firm butt. So let's get started. Okay, our first exercise today is plank twist. So we're going to go into the plank position on our forearms. Back goes nice and straight and low. Feet are flat or on your toes and your hands are flat on the floor. And you're going to twist and tap your hips on the floor. You're going to keep your back low so the movement's happening all in your core. And this is a timed exercise, so check my website for how long you should do it. Our next exercise, we're doing side lunges. So you're going to stand in the middle of the room and you're going to step really far to the right. Lean into it so you feel a stretch right here and your knee is not going past your toe. And then come up and then go to the other side and come up. That's one. <laughs> Keep your core tight and your back straight. Your butt should be pointing toward the back wall. Okay, our next exercise we're doing boat. I am using two mats just to give my butt a little bit of padding. Um, and you're going to sit up straight, straighten your back. You're going to reach your feet out. You can bend them if keeping them straight is too difficult. And we're going to time this, so we're going to try and keep our legs straight or bent and up for 10 seconds. And then we're going to do 10 seconds of pulses. Oh, kick your feet. Keeping your back straight and then hold. And then kick your feet. Okay? Next we're going to do a forward backward lunge and we're going to start by moving our right foot. So you're really going to be working your left leg. So we're going to step really far back until our knee is nice and straight to the ground and this thigh is parallel with the ground. Your knee is directly above your ankle and then you're going to step nice and far forward until you're in the same position. Your knee can touch the floor if you want but don't rest it there just to know you're going down far enough. That was one. Two. Three. Next we're going to do bicycle abs, so you're going to lay down on your back, you're going to put your hands behind your head, and you're going to twist so that your left elbow touches your right knee, but the main thing I want you to focus on, I'll show you on this side, is looking towards your elbow, because this will really make you twist and work your abs during this movement. So that's the main part, you want to tap your elbow to the mat behind you. A really big step that time. <laughs> okay, we're back to our abs again. So you're going to lay on your back, lift your shoulder blades off the floor, stretch your arms out behind you, lift both legs, and we're going to drop our right leg first, or our left leg first, rather, make circles with your right leg. You're going to do half your reps in one direction and then half in the other direction. And then we're going to immediately go into our reps on the other leg. Keep that bottom leg still as you can and your abs pulled in tight. Okay, next we're doing chair pose. But we're doing a little bit differently than we've ever done it in the past. We're going to do this again as a timed exercise. I'm going to just turn at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. So first, you're going to reach your hands up above your head and bring them together. Then you're going to bring your feet together. Squat down like you're about to sit on a chair, aiming your tailbone back towards the wall behind you. And you're going to do pulses for 10 seconds. Okay, and now for the second round of pulses, if you can, you're going to go on your toes and pulse. And this is a little bit more difficult, so if it's too much, just go back down on your heels. And down. Okay, next we're going to do angel abs. So, again, I have my extra mat folded, so I'm keeping my butt nice and protected from this hard ground. <laughs> then you're going to balance on your butt, bring your knees up flat, hands point out in front of you, and you're going to try and keep your hands as still as you can during all of the movements. Really work your core. You're going to drop your legs to the left, bring them around, 
up to the right, that's one rep. Now drop them back the other way. And around, that's two. Three. Four. Okay, for this next exercise, you're gonna go on your hands and knees. Your hands will be directly below your shoulders. Palms spread, or fingers spread, palms on the floor, nice and sturdy. And then you're gonna lift your right leg first and keep it bent like you're going to the bathroom on a hydrant if you were a puppy dog. <laughs> and then lift. And you're gonna do all your reps on this side and then go straight into your reps on the other side. Now I did this workout earlier, so I'm just going to switch now, just to show you. Keep your back nice and flat, abs pulled in. Okay, next we're going to do a side plank. So we're going to start on our right side. We're going to come up into a plank on our forearms. Hand goes behind your head to keep your positioning right and your chest facing the wall in front of you. We don't want you falling down like this. We want you nice and open, elbow pointing up at the ceiling. And we're gonna lift our leg and then bring it in, that's one. Lift, bring it in, that's two. In, that's three. Bring it in, that's four. Five, six. Doing the other side now. Okay, now we're going to do an L lift, so you get to lay down on your side, let your hands support your head, your other hand can come down on the mat in front of you, feet go in an L shape while your body makes a nice big L, and then we're going to raise our top leg and lower, and this is a nice slow controlled movement throughout the whole thing, we don't want you dropping, so make sure you're using your muscles the entire time. On the other side now. Okay, for the next exercise, you're going to sit nice and tall. You make sure your weight's evenly distributed between your hip bones. Feet are flexed, toes pointing toward you. Hands go up. Just reach towards your toes once before you get started to make sure you're evenly stretching on both sides. Bring your hands up, and then we're going to twist to the right, looking over our shoulder. Twist to the left, looking over our shoulder. That's one. Two. Make sure you breathe, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, for the next exercise, we're gonna be doing kickbacks. So if you need a chair for balance, you can use it, um, or you can just keep it in front of you in case you all of a sudden feel unsturdy, unsteady. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our foot out behind us so it's pointed and touching the ground, a little bit lifted. We're gonna lift, touch, lift, touch. And this is a small movement. Your hips should be staying relatively still. It should all be right in this area, right here. Doing the other side now. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing but in the other direction. So your foot is going to point in front of you, and you're going to lift. You can keep your hands up like a ballerina if you want to, and slowly lower. Again, you're not dropping your foot, you're moving it down in a nice controlled motion. Your shoulders are relaxed if you choose to lift them. Doing the other side now. And again, your hips are staying relatively still. This movement is in your legs and your abs your deep core muscles. Okay, next I'm gonna do a knee raise. Um, when I did the workout earlier, I did it using my pull-up bar, so I actually hung and lifted my knees. But I'm gonna do it right now using my dip station, so I'm gonna lift myself up and raise my knees. And if you don't have either of those pieces of equipment, you're gonna lay on the floor with your arms extended over your head and move your feet like this without letting them touch the ground. Okay guys, thank you very much for working out with me today. I hope that your core muscles and your butt muscles and legs are really feeling it after this workout and that you're feeling great and energized for your day. And keep on sticking with those New Year's resolutions. Check my website for the workout breakdown.